I'm Cody Cannon, and today I'm going to show you how to do a complete air system check on a freight liner. First thing you want to do, you want to put little chocks down. Those are set. You can move on to your first test. First test we're gonna do is is the build time. Um, you want to time it to see how fast it gets up to 85 to 100 psi of pressure. It should take 40 seconds. And after that test gets up to 100 psi, past 100 psi, we're gonna see where the cutting and cutoff for the governor is on the air compressor. Right, start the video. Start the test. First, you want to make sure the truck's out of gear. You want to crank it up. Start timing. In this test, you do it with high altitude. truck fell pretty bad and it's over a minute past 40 seconds so that failed and now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna listen to see when the governor cuts off and uh, let's let the air dryer spit see uh, that is a uh, heat building air pressure
side difference in the two. And then just let the air, air build back up and we'll just go on to our next test. And this is just without hitting any brakes, leaving the parking brake on. So. Okay. After two minutes, you're supposed to, usually the pressure loss for after two minutes is four PSI. And now, if you look at the gauges, this is, a, is over four PSI, so this truck definitely failed this test. And usually you would get out and you start spraying the truck down with soapy water to look for leaks. And then our next test is this, basically the same thing, but this time we're gonna do it without the parking brake on. So let's crank the truck back up and um, build air pressure back up. Go ahead and release the parking brake. backup air pressure you're gonna do the same thing you know shut the truck off and time for two more minutes go ahead and start that and you see the air pressure that we're at okay now that the two minutes are up you know, look to see how much air pressure is lost. And this is gonna be the same as the other one. It's gonna allow um, four PSI of drop, air pressure drop, which this one failed again. So there's definitely, a, like before, you'll get out and check for it, the airlines for leaks. Okay. Then our next test is gonna be the same way with the parking brake released. And, but this time you're gonna hit the service brake. So let's crank the truck back up and build air pressure back up. This one allows the same. It's supposed to only lose four pressure, four psi of pressure. So already one minute in, it's on fail.
so as you can tell this one had pretty good leak so this one failed this test again or failed test like it did before the next test you don't do is you don't want to build up air pressure make sure your air pressure is built up in each tank and then you're not pulling one of the drains on one of the tanks you're going to check the check valves to make sure they're working properly all right go ahead If they're working properly, one will drain all the way and it will not take no air pressure out of the other one, other tank. As you can see, this one's working properly. It didn't take none of the air out of the secondary tank. All right, you're good. You're good. Hey, I'm gonna crank it up and build up air pressure, okay? All right. All right. So now that you drain the air out one, we're gonna crank the truck back up, and build up more air pressure. Build up air pressure and check the other side. This light right here is a uh, low pressure, low air pressure warning light, and uh, it usually cuts off about 60, 65 psi. And let's make sure that's working too. Okay, go ahead.
I went ahead and stopped it. You can tell that it's the check valve's probably bad. As we're releasing air out of the secondary tank, it robbed air out of the primary tank. All right, the last thing you're gonna do is you don't walk around and do a visual inspection on the truck after you build up air pressure. You don't need soapy water. You don't look at all the connections. So let's build air pressure back up in the truck. You're good to start walking around and checking all the lines and fittings. Which you can already hear a leak over here. Coming off the two lines back there from they go to the governor. So we know that's a leak. Check my line down here. Plenty of leaks. Check here. Okay. Move on. Go to the other side. I'll check the lines that go to the air dryer. Those are good. That's good. Check these ones. Those are good. That side's good. All those are good. Check the air bag, air bag lines. All those lines are good. Okay. After you get done checking all your outside lines and valves, you don't want to count. Usually, you come underneath the truck, you check the fittings around your tanks, the primary, secondary, and wet tank, and check the quick release valve that's underneath the front of the truck. And that's how you check the air system on a truck.